Hi everybody, how you doing today? It's me again, Sadaleke. I'm back in the building. Think Positive Incorporated. Uh, today's gonna be a nice day. It's kinda nice and sunny, so I want you guys to sit back and enjoy the show. Because this is called the Break Your Plexus Show, baby. Why am I getting all excited? You're probably sitting back like, this guy's crazy, right? Because maybe he doesn't know what the Brick and Plex is all about. I know what the Brick and Plex is all about. It's the most dreaded thing every medical student hates. They can't stand it. Like, my God, it's, I gotta know all these nerves. It's ridiculous. Relax, okay? Relax. You know why I'm telling you that? Because by the time I'm done with the show, you're gonna be sitting back like, you know what? I wanna be like that guy, man. I'm not smart. I've just seen it so many times, that's the difference. If you do it more than enough times, think about it. I'm gonna give you a little short story. Right? Remember the first time you learned how to drive a car? If you do, all right? You look at the steering, you try to look for the gear, you're like, man, I don't know where the brakes are. Even if it's a stick shift, it's even worse, right? But now, you're probably driving, you could close your eyes driving in your sleep, but why? Because you drive every day, and there's no secret behind these guys. It's not hard. <laughs> It's easy, and I'm going to make it look easy to you. So the first thing I want to implore you to do, first, is to learn how to draw the damn thing. You know what? If you don't know the structure, how can you understand the clinical application? Because I'm going to talk purely clinical, because the way I'm going to literally put it to you, I want you to be not just know the nerves, but we're going to talk about what the nerve does, what muscle it's hitting, what happens when it's not working. That's called pathology, right? Uh, so let's get all excited. Yeah! Exactly. Alright, so what is the brachioplexus? plexus? Brachial means arm. Uh, 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 uh. What? Exactly, yeah. I do break dance too. So I'm not really one of the typical boring medical students. So, but I'm not going to dance on this show. What's going to happen is um, I want you to read in anticipation to realize this is your body. Okay? So, first thing, you have your own brachial plexus. Some of my medical students just read and you forget it. You know what? They actually read it by themselves. It's funny, right? Alright. The brachial plexus is a bunch of nerves, right? Coming from the cervical vertebrae, right about around C5. So, if I look down here, let me see here. See, this is my C7. Can you see that? Actually, I'm sorry, T1. Because it doesn't move. The one that moves... Oh. There you go. C7. C6. C5. That's where your brachial plexus starts. It starts at C5, runs all the way to T1. It's a bunch of nerves that's basically coming out of your brain, um, I'm sorry, of your spinal cord, coming out as a bunch of spinal nerves and innovating everything right here in your arms. Right? All these little trickle little things you can kind of, you know, break. I don't know. If you can't break down, it's fine. Right, do, right, doing this, doing that, doing that, right, doing this, that. It's all break your plexus. You use it every day, but you gotta think like it, man. Alright, so the first thing I want you to do is I want to recommend you go on Google right now and type in learn break your plexus in five minutes. It's a little, you know, PDF file, a doctor made it. I don't know his name by the top of my head, but look at that. I'm going to break it down for you, but if you use that to kind of quickly learn, he will speed up your process of learning. So let's start by drawing the brachial plexus. The first thing I want you to realize is you have a brain and you have a spinal cord. So let's be clear where these things are coming from, okay? And every spinal cord has its own levels, okay? So I'm going to call this C5. This is C6, C7, C8, T1. As you can see, you have the 8th cervical nerve, but you only have 7 cervical vertebrae from your anatomy class. You probably realize all these nerves kind of come on top of each other, so you have the 8th actual uh, cervical nerve. This is easy, guys. Let's start. The brachial plexus is divided into roots. The roots, just like a tree, if you all put a plant, it has a root. So, Kind of inverted root, but let's start like this by drawing it out. So it starts with a V, just like I drew it. Right? So we're going to start by drawing a Y shaped looking line, like that. 
You see the Y? Beautiful. And you draw another Y. But this time, it's inverted. Can you see that? Then you draw another Y. You see, I love metaphors for one thing. You can make it look as stupid as you can. Look, there's three Y's. Did you ever notice that? Now, one Y is facing this way, the other Y. So if you can just draw a Y, I think literally you can pull this off. Anybody can do this, guys. Then, another V. You know what? I like this drawing because a lot of people never see this. This is actually a rocket. Look. I can put a little rocket launcher there. Another rocket launcher here. See that? It's kind of looks cute, right? It's kind of about to launch a whole space rocket. Bam! I'm like, what? But I'm not going to. It's just for fun. I like to make medicine fun. Anything. I like to have a lot of fun. Right? Can you see how easy that is? Then basically add a couple of lines, you know, like a W. One, two, do you see my W? It goes up, uh, 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 uh. That's my W. That's really important that you know that. Extremely important. Right? Because we're going to name this now. See how easy it is to draw. If you do that, you're already ahead of the game. Now, we have roots, like I said. So, you know, I'm going to break the roots down. Did you see that? So, roots. After a root, what do you think is next? <laughs> I love medicine. <laughs> Trunks, right? Trunks. There's really nothing going on with the trunk. So you leave them alone. So, trunks are boring. Everybody cuts every tree by the trunk, right? Bam, you just got, oh, why did you cut the trunk? He was, he was staring at me. Then, there's divisions. Right? And this division is just telling you it's a multiplication table, right? Can you see that? It's just an X, right? Or, and you can just draw one here. It's like a Z, X, Z. This is how our letters, it's just almost like, wow! What was I thinking? I'll tell you how useless these guys are immediately, as soon as possible, because I don't like, students think they're actually important. And, they're chords. These guys are chords. And the last guys are called the branches. Very, very easy. But, guess what I'm here, guys? Pneumonics, baby. I don't want you to ruin Robert Trunks Division. It's a waste of time. So I'm going to just call it Robert Tree Drinks Cold Beer. What? Yeah, that's how you remember it. Robber tree drinks cold beer. And that's it. If you like beer, good. Remember, in my Port potential election, don't drink too much. And don't drink and drive. That pisses me off. You kill a lot of people and I have to take care of them. Alright. Now, I told you that C5, you know what? I want to make sure we're on the same page so you can actually see this is where C5 is. This is C6, 7, good, point to 8, and to T1. Are we on point? Good. Now, let me give you the the, uh, a, a good uh, piece of advice. See all these guys here? This X and Z? That's what post students are because they're focusing on this and you're like, man, oh man, oh man. It's useless. The only time you actually ever really need it if you ever open a body, and you kind of I know, let me look where this. They use this really no nerve that's important. But, hey, we gotta make this look complex and bad. I guess the but I don't care. Now, let's stop putting up the nerves. The first thing I want you to do is right here, just draw a little line. And at this point, you can call that, we're not going to name that yet. Let's put, just put a, a line here. Let's put another line here. And one line here. I hope you can see it. We're going to fill them up in a minute. Three lines here in the middle. 